The magic of the camera is that you can't smell if I haven't showered. Here's me, Shane. I'm rad. No, that's that's not how I wanted to start this. Hello! Uh, in the background, you might be able to hear a movie. Uh romping onwards. Ignore that, if you can't hear it. Good, because this microphone is pretty good at not listening to that. This video have a point? Nope. Nope. Yes. What check the Polish soldier bear? My information is coming from Wikipedia, so I warn you it could be wrong. Probably even more amusing to the tale of what check. Now, in 1942, a local boy found a small baby bear whose uh, mother had been shot. He later sold this bear to a Polish refugee, who when it got too big, donated it to the Polish army. They tried to feed him condensed milk from an empty vodka bottle, but he had problems swallowing that, so they fed him with fruit, marmalade, honey, and syrup. And if he was being good, he was often rewarded with beer, which later became, uh, quote-unquote, his favorite drink. This bear enjoyed smoking and eating cigarettes, too. He enjoyed wrestling, he learned how to salute, and then, uh, through some means, became an unofficial mascot for the Polish army. He's moved through Syria, Palestine, Egypt, and in order for the company to bring them with him on their, um on their way to Italy to fight, he was officially drafted into the Polish army. He was listed as a private, and you will find him in the catalogue of all the soldiers from that company. Something tells me that modern armies couldn't do this. As a private, he would help carry ammunition. And because of this, the company changed their logo imagery thing to a bear carrying an artillery shell, which is amazing, this is it. Post-war, 1945, he was taken to Scotland with uh, parts of the rest of the troop. And then they stayed in a village for two years, and he was a very popular attraction there, before being donated to a zoo two years later, when the company was demobilized. It was there that he spent the rest of his days. Former soldiers would sometimes visit and throw him cigarettes, no one could light him his cigarettes, which is disgraceful for a veteran. And Wojciech died in December 1963. And he was something of a pop culture sensation. He was uh, often appearing on BBC's Blue Peter, among various memorial plaques dedicated to him. In the zoo he spent the rest of his life in, in museums, in at least two war museums, one of which was a carved wooden sculpture of the bear. And May 18th this year, in Poland's second largest city, a statue was enacted of him in one of their biggest parks. He also had a film made after him that was only aired in Scotland. And in fact, there's a whole list of uh, various statues that he's become here. Everyone wants a statue of this bear, and why wouldn't they? This bear is amazing. That's the story of Wojciech, a bear that was drafted into the military. Cool. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the best bear in human history and or bear history. This has been another Shane stands in a tweed jacket and talks about history, probably? I don't know, that's not a thing, but that might be. It is now, apparent, apparent. Hmm, <coughs> my face looks far more disgusting in HD.